The problem in Nigeria is that men look at us like competition. It's not about competition. Because there's sometimes you see some husbands telling you that you're supposed to be behind them. You're supposed to be here beside together, beside each other. You work together. There are many women now who are emotionally, financially stable. Mm -hmm. Their husbands look at them like competition. Mm -hmm. So if you come out from your home, and that's the way they feel about you, when you get into, I know so many offices in Nigeria, mm -hmm. they're supposed to give the women positions that are due to them, but they're not giving positions that are due to them because they're women and because of religion. So now, so now that we have a new government, I want the women affairs minister or the women that are in charge to take it up. It's not about 35, 35. How many, how many senators do we have? The country does not even make, um, like Nigeria is not, you cannot survive even if you want to run for office. When things are due to you, the next thing they say, oh, she's a woman. Everybody is bringing down the woman. You know, when people tell me, oh, she's a woman, I actually think they're praising me because they think I'll do better than a man. No, uh, well, <laughs> no, I, I don't think, um, I don't, do you know, if you even want to go to a filling station, you're a woman, you're queuing. I, just, I realize all the time, they will not want to go past the man who is behind you. Mm -hmm. But they feel because you're a woman, they're going to bump in front of you. Oh, wow. And the minute you, you now start to talk, they said, ah, this lady, she no, looks your, frustrated. Your husband goes so far. No, and then they will now said, I have your type at home. Mm -hmm. You know, and everything about, about, about um, my country is they try to bring you down. If you're big, they will say you're big. If you're slim, they say you're slim. If you're this... They forget that it's about your intelligence. And most of the time when you want to speak, they try to bring you down. But the good thing about the Nigerian woman, they have decided. 35% or no 35%, 50%. This time around, they're going to hear us. And they're going to listen. And they have to do it right.